Okay, today what we're going to look at is Adobe InDesign. This is just an intro to the program layout. When you first open up the program, I'm on a Mac, so you can see my desktop background. That's normal. And right here, smack dab in the middle, we have our welcome screen. You'll have a list of your recent programs that you just worked on on the left. And we'll be creating a new document here in just a minute with this button right here on the right. First, before we get started, I'd like to just walk you through the layout and where things are located and some of the terminology. On the left-hand side, we have all of our different tools, and this is located inside the, the toolbox. Um, so if I ever refer to look at a fourth, the fourth tool down, uh, this is the area that I'm referring to. Up top, we have our menu. Each menu will have different choices and, and sub-menus. Below that, we have our options panel. And if you switch tools, your options will generally change. So each tool has different options. And then on the right-hand side, you have your this is called a docking station. Sometimes it looks like this. And you, these are all your different panels. And they break them up into groups here. They're separated by that dark gray line. But you can minimize it like this and click on one and see if, you know, if that's your preference, you can do it that way. I prefer to have it expanded so that way I can look at it like this you can resize these groups by clicking on those dark gray lines and clicking and dragging you can even pull them out if you want to you can delete them by clicking on the X and if you ever get confused and get a little lost just go to the window menu go down to workspace and default workspace and that'll set it back up to this the same layout all the time. So let's go ahead now and click on the new documents, create new document. And we have different options here. We can set the number of pages. Um, there's options for different width and height. By default, InDesign is set up to, to read in PICAs. We can set the number of columns generally we work in grids and the gutter again the gutter is the space between the crease where the two pages meet and like a binding um, so that's the space between that binding stitch and the margin so it gives you a little extra room it's also the space between columns and then we have our margins if you click on one, they all change. If you want to unlink them, you click that little uh, chain, and then you can move them individually. From here, we're going to click OK, and it will create the new document for us. And there's a couple simple navigation features down at the bottom of the toolbox. We have a magnifying glass. You click on that and zoom in. If you want to zoom out, there's a couple keyboard shortcuts. So command, you hold down the command button. This is on a Mac. And minus will zoom you out. Or Command-0 will center the full page on your screen. And Command-plus will zoom you in. And the keyboard shortcut to get to that magnifying glass is the letter Z. So you could quickly zoom in on a section, make your changes, and then zoom out. So those are a couple navigation features. One of the other ways that we can get around is by holding down the space bar, it turns into a hand, and we click and drag. Um, 
one of the panels that we'll look at first is this pages panel and again we we're gonna want more room to to view that so I'm gonna delete one of these groups just for sake of so we can see what's in this whole panel and over here we see pages one and two I'm gonna zoom out really far so you can see them there's this white background in here, kind of like a, it's, it's referred to as a pasteboard or a whiteboard, uh, where you can put your work that you're not that you're not currently using. So you could put um, extra text, extra pictures uh, out there, and maybe you'll use them later and drag them onto your page. Notice. You can also see the three columns that we created earlier. The, these pink and purple lines will not print. They're non-printing marks. As with everything on the, the whiteboard, everything on the, the white space will not get printed. We can create a new page just down here by clicking on the Create New Page in our Pages panel. And there it goes. InDesign by default assumes that you're creating a booklet. So this first page is designated as the cover. That's why it adds another page here and there and so on. If we ever want to delete a page, we can double click it and drag it down into the garbage can. Okay, if you accidentally delete a spread or something you don't want to do, Command Z is the undo. You can also reach that through the edit menu, undo, and redo. And then up here we have templates in the pages panel, and we'll talk about that in the next video.